I suffered a high speed motorcycle collision on the M1 on the way to work one day. I was put into a coma for six weeks, a barbiturate coma that I'm the first of three to survive. Um, I still have diffuse axonal injury of my brain. Also suffered a perforated bowel that I had to remove six inches, a fractured fifth metatarsal on my right hand, a bruised kidney and a bruised lung at the time. Um, also was septic and uh, a few other problems and epileptic during my seizures, which still affects my quality of life today. After the, the month and a bit in a coma, I slowly came out of that. It was like being born again, really. I came out with sort of the brain capacity of a preschooler. My speech was very impaired. Um, I worked my way up from there. I ended up going to the Brain Injury Rehabilitation Unit at Princess Alexandra Hospital. Stayed there for about a month and a half, nearly two months. It was very boring. <laughs> So I was just laying in a bed staring at, at the, the roof, but it kind of made me think about my life and where I was heading and all I did was write things down and stare at the roof and just think about my life and, and it, it really sort of woke me up to myself and what I was doing. So in a way it's one of the best things that's ever really happened to me. I used it to motivate myself instead of hold me back. When I first got out of hospital, I, was, I weighed 45 kilos. I was very skinny, I had to, to gain weight. Um, I was sleeping 18 hours a day, so I had to cut that back. I was so determined to get back to work. I, I wanted to go back full time. I wanted to prove to everyone that I was fine. Um, I started out with two hour shifts and just gradually worked my way up to full time again over a period of about three to six months. Don't let a speed bump become a roadblock. It, any obstacle can be overcome. I, I had a lot of challenges. Now I do still face a lot of obstacles, but I, I keep just pushing myself to overcome them. And my mantra was always, what do you want? When do you want it? What are you willing to do for it? And that, that's got me where I am today. Uh, I did have a lady come in at Christmas time and she was looking for a brain training game. And I asked her, okay, um, how old is the person it's for? And she said, well, he's 40, but He's had a, a car accident. I said, I, I just got out of hospital six months ago for the, the exact same injury. We, we ended up speaking for about 10 minutes just about what, what had happened to me and how it gets better and how far I had come in such a short space of time. And she said, thank you, you've just made my Christmas. And that, that moment just there to me made, it, made everything worthwhile. It, just the look on her face was just probably the greatest moment of my life that I had made that much of a difference to someone. I always try to turn negative things into a positive. You know, I kind of see the crash as sort of the best thing that's ever happened to me. It woke me up, it made me the person I am today. I, I face a couple challenges, but life is great. I'm back at work full time. I, I got all my friends back now. I've, I've got a girlfriend. Um, everything's sort of coming up crew now. <laughs>